Marvin Erickson Sr. was one of the founding fathers of, of Atlanta, of modern Atlanta. And Marvin fought the fight. He was one of the major players, the barrier breaker. He built one of the largest African-American firms here in the United States, and nobody gave him anything. He built it from scratch. At that time, there were no black law school students at Emory University. Just think about the courage that it took to walk into a place where there had never been one like you, and knowing the resentment and the hatred that they must have felt. Atlanta was still a segregated city, even though the Civil Rights uh, Act had passed, the Voting Rights Act had passed. Which was probably the worst period in Atlanta's history, sort of like the Berlin Wall, right across Payton Road, to avoid any ownership by black folks coming across Payton Road. He was working with Leroy Johnson at one time when they got together with Lester Maddox and put together Muhammad Ali's first fight after retirement. Negotiations of a Marvin Arrington allow for Atlanta to be the host of this first fight when Muhammad Ali fights Jerry Quarry and it was Black Atlanta, it was Marvin Arrington's Black Atlanta that came out to support. His management of city council is what makes him legendary. He was destined to be the mayor of the city of Atlanta. Two big heavy hitters going at, at it. That was a nasty, dirty political race among black folks. And it was black folks against black folks. It was colorism. Maynard Jackson became part of the conversation. And he made a, uh, a statement about Maynard that wasn't pleasant. And, and when Maynard gets the microphone, it's all over. As judge, he cleared the courtroom of everyone but just young black men. And yeah, that's classic Marvin. And when there was this backlash, I couldn't understand it. Anytime you give a mayor credit for Atlanta's place in America and the world, um, you have to think about uh, the person that organized the legislative side of that effort. He ruled this chamber like mighty Zeus in Olympus. And it was a chamber that we aspired to the, to the highest for the least of these. And it is his example that made this an august, mystical body of public service. How Atlanta got to be the Atlanta that it is today is because of the blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice, and service of political giants like Marvin Aaron to Senior. Dirty, dirty.